my name's Michelle and you're watching Real Life with Michelle where we do real life stuff. Sometimes you're going to see my grandkids, sometimes you'll hear me sitting in this chair talking, sometimes who knows, just who knows. What are you thankful for? What, sit down, I've been sitting down and thinking, what am I really thankful for? What are you thankful for? And an honest, honestly just sit and really think. I'm thankful that both my parents are still alive. I am so thankful for that because some of the people, my friends my age and my family my age don't have their either, either one of their parents or they just have one left. And I am so thankful that right now I have my parents. My, whoa, I'm really thankful for my that too and my dog that are wrestling in front of us here <laughs> so I'm so thankful that they get to experience life with me now they're still there I mean I can still pick up the phone and call my mom I am so thankful for that and my dad I can pick up the phone call my dad you know there's sometimes I'll just because I, I talk to my mom more I'm a girl you know girls do that and there's sometimes I just miss my dad, so I just go over and see my dad. You know, I just go over to see my dad. So, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful that I still have a brother. My brother got in a very, very, very bad accident when he was in seventh grade. And he doesn't talk about it much. He doesn't ask questions about it much. But they told us if my brother he had a, a brain problem a blood clot he fell they told us that he wasn't going to live and if he did live he would be a vegetable well he's neither he's he's alive and kicking and he's not a vegetable in fact he went back to school he had weeks weeks after his surgery so i I'm, I'm thankful that i'm not an only child I'm thankful that whenever I would need my brother, I can call him and he would be there and he knows he knows I'll be there for him. I'm thankful that I have a brother. And I'm thankful that he has a wife that we get along. We get along with his wife and her kids and I'm thankful for his wife. She is she's an amazing person. She's an amazing person. She really is. I'm also thankful that I have four healthy children. I worked at, uh, I worked, my job, my past job was working with the disabled, driving a bus for the disabled, and then, you know, later I went inside in the workshop and worked. And it, that made me thankful because you don't know what could be wrong with your kids. You don't, I mean, those of you that have kids that are disabled or that have emotional or mental problems understand. But those of you that don't know, you you don't know how lucky you are. You don't know how lucky you are that your kids can stand up and walk and stand up and go get on the school bus and do things for themselves because there's some parents that have adult children still living at home that they're changing diapers for. So I am thankful that all my kids are healthy. And by the way, if you ever get behind a school bus that is picking up a disabled person, be patient, be patient, be patient, and just be thankful that you're not the parent standing there putting that child on the bus. Because I've picked up kids that have disabilities or autism or something and their parents they're spent they're spent they're exhausted they're they're just exhausted not only are they exhausted they don't have a life they have no life their life is their kid their life is their child you know no matter what they want to do their life is their child and they just have to accept it that it's that way they can't go to the movies, just pick up and go to the movies, or the husband, you can't go out to dinner with your husband, 
You just can't do it. You have to call a sitter for your adult child that understands his needs, you know. So be thankful when you get behind one of those buses and you have to wait because you're, you're not that person. You're, you know, you're not the person that be, be happy. Just be happy. All right, now let's talk about my husband. I've been married a couple times. I've made a couple bad choices in picking men and married them. And I cannot tell you how thankful I am for my husband. I mean, I tell him every day. I appreciate him. I do. He knows that I appreciate him. You know, I, I, I've had the worst of the worst of husbands. And that has made me appreciate my husband now. And I, I tell him often, I love you. I appreciate you. I thank him for doing things for me. And we have an extraordinary circumstance here because I have not only fibromyalgia, I have chronic fatigue, and I've had a neck fusion, and I have a rod in my spine that's about that long in my back. And he is so, he is so patient with me and loving and kind. And he has tried to understand my, how I feel, when I feel, why I feel, why I'm tired. He has put an effort into understanding what he needs to do to help me. And I so appreciate that. I, I mean, I can, there's, oh, here. There's times that when we get home or from somewhere, I'll just tell him I need help walking. Or when we're out somewhere, I need help walking. And him, he immediately gives me his arm and I have to hold onto his arm and he helps me walk. I can lean on him as hard as I want and he helps me walk. He also treats my children like they're his own kids. He truly does. I know most people will say, you know, when you marry somebody else, that person doesn't have the same kind of love toward your kids as as you do or as their father would. Well, let me tell you, I can honestly and truly say that he does. My kids, he says, hey, I love you. Hey, you did a good job. Hey, you know, my, my daughter, <laughs> my daughter got him a shirt for Father's Day with a deer on the front and it says, best buck and dad, you know, and she has taken a picture with him and it's one of her favorite pictures. So he treats all, all four of my children like, like they're his, like they're his, you know? And I can't, I can't ask for anything more. My parents, he'd do anything for my parents, anything. All my mom has to do is say, hey, can you, and he's like, what do you need? What do you need me to do? I'll do it, no problem. And he never complains. He never, ever, ever complains. You know, he, he's just amazing. So I truly, truly appreciate my husband. Something else I'm thankful for. About five years ago, I was at the Cleveland Clinic with my back and I, I was getting pain injections and I was seeing a doctor there. And this doctor told me, Michelle, the rate that you're going now, in 10 years, you're going to be in a wheelchair. In 10 years, you're going to be in a wheelchair. And I thought, oh. So my husband, when I told him that, his wheels started turning. And when we bought our new house, his wheels were already turning that, you know, if my wife's going to be in a wheelchair, we're going to have to have a ramp so it'll work and the floors, he's put new floors in with no, no big bumps. So if I was ever in a wheelchair, I could get around. And you know, he's, a ca he's just thinking ahead, but I'm not in a wheelchair. I'm not in a wheelchair. I ended up going to another doctor and they put a rod in my spine. And I think that's helped quite a bit. And I don't think in 10 years I'll be in that wheelchair. And I am so thankful for that. I am so thankful, one, that I found this doctor because what the condition of my back is rare. 
10% of the people in the United States have herniation right dead in the middle of your back. And I had a couple herniated discs there. So I am so thankful to find the doctor that I found, you know, that kind of knew about, knew about this. But I am so thankful that I get to watch my grandkids. I don't get to, I want to. But I get to, I get to, I get to see them and I get to be a part of their life and I'm able to take them to McDonald's or take them to the park. You know, it usually wipes me out and I'm in bed for the rest of the night, but I'm able to do it and I'm thankful that I get to do that and I want to do that. So, what are you truly, truly thankful for? What can you say you're tr I'm truly, in my heart, I am truly thankful for. I know my life, I wouldn't change it for a world, for the world. I have been through some crap, let me tell you. I have been through some awful crap, but I wouldn't change one thing for the world because that's what made me who I am today. And that's what made me so compassionate and thankful. And I'm really, really glad I went through it. So. What are you thankful for? All right, subscribe. Go down and hit the little subscribe button. I'll wait. Okay, now you did that. A little bell popped up and hit all. I'll wait. Okay, so that means you're gonna get all my video notifications. So you don't wanna miss any. You don't wanna miss any. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.